Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthfication Chronicles. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a Huffington Post article. Yep, HuffPo. Well, I just think this is an article that you need to take a minute and actually read. Because there's some interesting stuff in here. And uh, yes, it's about our favorite president, too. Obama tells Ottawa crowd deep fake videos have him worried. Now, just for a moment, think about it. Why is he so worried about the deep fake videos? Hmm, could he maybe be worried about what's going to come out in the declassified documents? And maybe there's something in there that he doesn't want people to see. Or maybe what the declassified documents are going to lead to is future videos that he might not want people to think are really him. Hmm, is that a possibility? Well, anyway, you know, he says people can duplicate me speaking and saying anything. And if you go down here, the article is about this, you know, it says he's concerned about these deep fake videos will have real life consequences, messing with people's abilities to sort fact from fiction. I just think it's very interesting that he's pointing this out right now. Okay. Really, I understand that there is, you know, this fear that people could make these videos have you say or do something that you normally wouldn't say or do. I understand that. But, you know, this also could be a very convenient excuse to say, oh, I really didn't say those words. That wasn't me. That's someone else on that video. You know, there are still ways that they can tell whether a video is true or false, whether it's real or not. We have to be discerning. And I understand that there's a problem with a lot of gullible people out there who fall for everything and who don't think through what they're listening to and what they're learning. But, you know, there are an awful lot of people, too, that don't like something, so they claim something they don't like is automatically fake. And you really can't judge it that way. You have to base your decision on facts. And there are some facts that are going to be coming out. And I'm afraid they're not going to be very flattering to Mr. Obama. And that means I'm skeptical about the reason that he's putting this out now. I think it's very interesting that he is pointing this out at this time. And, you know, he blames it on the, um, the human brain because... Part of the problem is because the human brain hasn't adapted quickly enough to process the onslaught of information readily available to them on multiple platforms. Yeah, you're not smart enough, is what they're saying. <laughs> you know, they really do look down their nose at us humans. I, I think they believe that they're a cut above us. And it comes out all the time when they're saying things. So... Anyway, he goes through and he talks about how they've got to be more discerning about it. But it also points out how that's going to mean all these social media markets are going to have to, you know, do a better job of pointing out what's fake news. Well, if you saw the Nancy Pelosi video going around and where she was slurring her words and everything, it was slowed down a little bit. Yes, it was. But... It was her saying it. I mean, there's no denying that she said those things. The video was not a fake. And they're trying to equate having these deep fake videos with that video of Nancy Pelosi. And here's where they discuss, you know, Facebook aggressively downranking Dr. Nancy Pelosi video and got a lot of flack for not removing it completely. But, you know... There wasn't anything wrong with that video, and if it had been some conservative, they never would have had any issue with it. That's the problem we're having. And so, you know, they were grilled here, and here was, representing 11 countries, the International Grand Committee questioned representatives from Facebook, Twitter, Google, and others about their policies for three days of hearings. And Facebook was repeatedly asked to explain its decision to not take down a doctored video of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that was slowed down to make it seem like she was intoxicated. Um, watch the video. 
I really think that something was going on. And I don't know if the woman is drinking or if she is actually something's not functioning right in her brain. So I don't know what the problem is, but it's very obvious that she has some kind of problem. And so, yes, yeah, see, YouTube removed it. So, you know, that's kind of crazy, too, that YouTube would do that. But not really. We know what they're doing. Anyway, down here is where they actually go through and they question them. And they were talking about that video of hers. And it's really odd that they would include that video in this article about deep fake videos because it's not at all a deep fake video. They're trying to equate them, but it's not true at all. This was actually video of her. She was actually saying these things. The only doctoring that went on was slowing it down. That's not at all the same thing as what Obama was talking about here or what they're supposed to be about is the deep fake videos, which are the ones that are created and they're not at all by the person. The person did not say these things and it makes it look like the person is saying these things. So, you know, I just thought it was very interesting how he put this together and the things that Obama said here that, you know, he makes it sound like, well, you know, this is a grave problem that we have coming up. Well, I think it's a grave problem for him because there are some videos out there of him that he doesn't want the public to see. And once the public sees them, it's going to really change their perception of who he is. And so I think he's trying to get out ahead of things that are to come. And, you know, this Pelosi thing, Huffington Post does this sometimes. They you know, take something and they try to match this in with it. That way it'll make people think they are equal in their minds. And it's not, you know, it's not at all. But then again, people that read Huffington Post probably do believe that. So this is the article and it has these quotes and things by Obama. And so he's concerned because... People can duplicate me speaking and saying anything. Or they can just post real videos of things that you've said that you shouldn't have said. So it's a very interesting article. I did want to point it out to you. And even though it's Huffington Post, I think it's worth a read. But remember, you know, read it with a grain of salt because you know they're biased from the start. So that's what I've got for you on this one. I want to thank you for stopping by and I'll see you all later. <music>